Welcome, and welcome back, to all that the wind has brought here, to another episode of Roots of Pacha, where we finished ostriches. Now we just need guanaco and bison. We're almost ready with chickens to start working on them. And I've got a couple more secret spots, or suspicious spots, I should say, that may have secrets in them uh, that I saw. So we'll have to see how that turns out. But right now, let's put away a whole bunch of gemstones. And, and I don't have space for that flint. What's taking up my flint space? Very interesting. Well, we'll get rid of those floors and we'll put the flint in its place. And we'll just go with that for right now. More onions, please. Let's get rid of all these onions. <clears throat> lots and lots and lots of onions. Which makes for lots of pickles. Which I do quite enjoy collecting all of these pickles. They are worth a fair bit of money. I know we could expand this operation further and make absolute bank, but at the same time, you know, is that really what I want to do? No, no, it's not. But it is something we could technically do. More importantly, we're going to make a cheese house. That's that's going to be a thing. Once we have that barn done, we're going to start working on our cheese house. Because I'd like to see that happen. The barn and the brewery. We need to do the barn and the brewery. Very important. Um, and then we can work on the cheese house. And then... Perfect. Let's ferment some fish for crawl. Okay, let's put some fish away. Because we're not going to ferment all that fish for crawl at the moment. Okay. Fiber bore. And who all have we got? Gen 5. Gen 4. Gen 5 it is. And let's work on that for right now. Okay. Play some music. Pet some adorable little animals. And... Oh no! What's wrong with you? Tummy ache? Well hey, guess what I happen to have in my pocket? There you go. Okay, now everyone should be happy. girl or a boy? That's important. You're a girl. Okay. And you were also a girl. So actually you can go. Bye-bye. Did I say hi to the baby? Yes. Yes, I did. Excellent. Okay. We have said hello to all of the babies. In the northern parts, at least. Very important to differentiate that. Let's see if 
Mana likes coconut milk. We're gonna find that out. <laughs> I know she likes almond milk, but I have a lot of coconut milk. So let's just go see. We'll run down here. I need to work on cleaning this up too. That's kind of a, of a bit of importance. Like this is such a mess. In fact, I have six pieces of flooring. It's not a lot, but you know what? Oops. Well, now I have seven pieces of flooring. So how's that? How's that for winning? Um, there, it's a little bit closer. Do I have any extra stones actually? Make as much flooring as you can. Perfect. And then do another row. That's fine. Oh, good lord. Honestly. It's so bright. That bird is so... Kind of painfully bright. You know those, um... Okay, I might be showing my age here a little bit. But back in the late 80s, there were these sewing kits. And oh my god, were these sewing kits so ugly. They really were. Like, not to say the ostrich is ugly, okay? It kind of works on the ostrich. I mean, it's, it's a little bright. It's a little bright. But the sewing kits... Oh, they were just hideous. Absolutely hideous. And so, growing up, of course, that was the sewing kit that my mother had. Was this ugly, ugly purple sewing kit. And not, not to hold it against the developers, not to hold anything against the ostrich itself... But am I getting a little bit of a flashback to that sewing kit? Yes. I'm sorry, I missed something. I know from the depths of my being, Pacha brought me to this clan for a reason. Whatever it is, I'm happy that she did. That's adorable. You are cute. Um, right, I have coconut milk right here on my hot bar. What am I doing? What a refreshing gift, thanks. I wanted to be just like Aloe's mom as a kid. Her passing left a hole in all of our hearts. Sad. Y'all make me sad. Anyway. Silk. Not here. That's okay. Um. Jag's done. Gel rod's technically done. We could give something to Jizu. done for that um it is about time Ooh, actually is grub in town today very important question he is down on the beach so you know what we're gonna go visit grub before we go to the savannah Besides, we don't have to visit the ostriches anymore. We have them all. Woo! All done with ostriches. We only have four types of animals left that we need to befriend. As fantastic as that is. That's who else I had a gift for, right? Dari. I forgot about Dari. I wish Enza saw age like the honor that it is. Yeah, good luck with that. Serratos, we don't need. Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> oh, our little spot here. Down in our southern field where we have the other animal barns is going to be fantastic, honestly, once it's finished. I 
I'm almost thinking about decorating both of the animal areas, but I haven't decided what to decorate them with just yet. We'll have to see. Bison are right there, Guanaco are right there. <clears throat> okay. So that's a thing. Let's check the Guanaco though, because we have to do this in pattern order. No new Guanaco? No new Guanaco. Okay. <clears throat> well then, give me a bison, please. Hello. I mean, bright yellow bison <clears throat> that looks like a stick of margarine. But, still, it's our first rare, and I will take it. I mean, the truth of the matter is, guys, it's it's classic. This all goes back to the very earliest renditions of Bokujo Monogatari and the Golden Chicken. Let's be real. It all goes back to Golden Chickens from way back in the day. Just nowadays, instead of golden chickens, we have golden everything. It's fine. And it's it's only a rare. If they had done golden as the legendary, I would be a little upset. But it's just a rare. So it is a good nod to the classics. Give credit where credit is due. It's a very good nod to the classics. And we do need that. Oh yay, more amaranth that I really don't need. Oh, there's more of you now. Okay. Well, you're the one I was working on. Yep, get in my barn. Off you go. Not not in one of my good barns. Thank you. Get in that barn. Yes. I approve of this. Okay, you're about done. No, 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 no. Sorry, no. Okay. <laughs> yes. Join my barn. Join that barn. Perfect. Okay. Is that a mustard chicken? Is that what a mustard chicken looks like? Okay, we won't be keeping the mustard chicken. Oofed. Um, yeah, we'll work on you. Because then you'll be on your last day. And that one just appeared. So hopefully what we can do <clears throat> is we can get that one that just appeared. And then we should be able to ditch most of everything. Okay. So we have nearly everything that we need. Um, <clears throat> pardon me for just a sec, guys. Okay, and we are back. I do apologize for that. <clears throat> I was halfway through the recording when I realized I was out of water. And I've done a lot of uh, recordings, so it's a lot. So, remember I said there are areas <clears throat> in playback footage that look really suspicious. 
one of them is this area here. That now that I've proven that the other area was actually suspicious, this one looks more suspicious than ever. Just remember, I was all confused. It looks like you can climb this vine because there's a path here. There's totally a path right here. Hey, look, fun. But I bet, yeah, I can walk into the wall just like before. Aha! Oh, hey, I was feeling inspired and made you this. A flower hat? What? Is it going to be cuter than our bow, though? That's important. Is it cute? It is very not cute. I'm not gonna lie, it's not cute. I was all hopeful that is not cute. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. That's not cute. Okay, there was one more area that was really kind of sus that I remembered. And then, of course, I'm thinking that the Glyphodon's den itself still seems kind of sus. Like, it's cool. There's a hot spring. But is there more to it? And I'm curious about that. The other one was, and we're probably I'm probably wrong and I'm probably going to fall off the cliff a number of times. But remember that spot where we transform into monkey and like half of it is covered in shadow and I fell off a cliff a whole bunch? Yeah, I, I have suspicions about that area. So, it's kind of over here-ish. And hey, I'll snag the sardius while we're over here. Because why not? If we can, we can. And why wouldn't we? Ooh, flint. I will take flint. I always need flint. Yeah, this place. Okay. So, like, half of this is in shadow, and we managed to go up, right? But look at this. This whole bottom area is in shadow. So that's a gap. So we can't jump there through the middle. But we can come over here. And that's a gap. Okay. Oops. Darn it. Okay, there's nothing there. Ah, there's something here! Okay, that's a gap. Darn it. So there is something there! Okay. Two three, four. So four down I could go. One, two, three, four. This way? No. One, two, three, four. It can't be this way, right? Oh, it is this way. Okay. Two. Three. Okay. Three. One, two, three, four. Over. One, two, three. Over? Ah! One, two, three. And now I'm human. Ha! There was something this way! I mean, I can't get anything here. Or can I? Torch. Dawn made us all these outfits. Oh! Was this any- is this- is this actually cute? Hold on. Is this actually cute? It's kind of cute. It kind of reminds me of what, um... what Croc wears a little bit. 
Now, how did I change this again? Okay, so I right click to change color changing once. This is not color changing though. Well, then it's not. Okay. Well, that's okay. We found something cool though! Oh god, how am I gonna get out of here? Um, one, two, three, over. One, two, three, over. One, two, three, four. Over, up, over, over, down, and back. Ha ha! Okay. See, I knew it was sus. I knew that was so sus. I'm like, why would they cover the entire bottom of the map in shadow there? Also, oh god, I got to watch myself fall off that cliff so many times from the first time we did it. It's so bad. I'm so sorry for all the times I have fallen off of cliffs. Poor monkey! We really do not respect their totem. Um, okay, there's one more place that seems really sus. And that's in the Glyphodon Den. Right, because it gives me this ability to fly around. And what? I get to fly around to different aspects of the the spirit's little nests? No. No, there's gotta be more to it than that, right? That's what I'm thinking, at least. There's gotta be more to it than that. So, great. I get to check out the little treehouse, right? Very cute. Lots of, of gold and shiny, like a dragon's hoard. That's great. I get to check out this little area that's also cute. This area up here is cute. They're all cute. But there's something. There's something. Ah, there is something. Okay, there's something here. Now what? Ah! Look at this! Okay, more gems. That's cool. Great. Lots of gems over here. That's great. Dawn helped me grow this for you. What is that? I'll have another one for you next season. Okay, so I'm getting something for free here. You know what? Go, go away. Go away, Avi. What is that? A golden pomegranate. This is the one that makes your animals love you. Okay, that's the one. That's the golden pomegranate. Okay. There's somebody I know who's watching this who told me that I should get golden pomegranates. And you never thought I would get one for free just saying things are sus, did ya? It was sus. It was so sus. Why would you give me an owl aspect with nothing secret to it, right? It was so sus. So sus. And I remembered seeing this crystal and this cliff here and I'm like, hmm. I've seen things meld into the walls before. From that same subscriber who watched me get a piece of silver literally out of the wall. I've done it before. Oop. I jumped off the cliff again, guys. And, and that's, okay. You know what? I'm just not gonna talk while I'm jumping on cliffs. It's, it's that simple. Let's go ahead and pass out in the hot spring. Don't actually pass out in a hot spring in real life. Um, that kills people. All the time that kills people. Don't, don't do it in real life. But we're gonna go ahead and... Oh, that's funny. We're gonna go ahead and not pass out because we happen to be in the hot spring. However, because the clock is not moving, we're not getting any stam. That's funny. Out we go, and let's pass out. See, the developers know it's very bad to fall asleep in a sauna or a hot tub 
or any of those kinds of things. Do not fall asleep in places that are too hot for your body's natural functions. You're not allowed to do that. Guys, we have officially broken a million clan prosperity. And we have contributed 2184 today. Now, there is an achievement for contributing a lot of money and a lot of goods. And we are going to do that achievement before the end of this series. But that is going to have to wait for the saving of the game and the ending of the day and the collection of the mythical gold and pomegranate for free? Once a season? What? Uh, we have come to the end of the episode. So if you like what you see, feel free to leave a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. Also, round two of marriage voting is coming soon. So let me know your thoughts on the community page by voting. And until next time, may the wind bring you on another journey. And don't forget to run around with your mythical pomegranates. Have a good night.